Oh, we change your underwear as frequently as you change your bikes, my friend. Stevie Bonzi, everybody!
seen in one start in a while. Mikey and the girls. Well, let's start with the quiet man over here. Look, man, you got on the box, you had a hell of a fight out there. Kale Coleman, you, you, had, you and Andrew were just like back and forth, back and forth. We thought you were going to take each other up. You about gave us a heart attack, man. No, it was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, we had a good battle going, and uh, the, the tracks started sleeping off a little bit, and they were able to capitalize on a little bit of the active, and uh, they were able to pull a little bit farther away. But on the box, and I can't believe by that you had a pretty good night, buddy, but I'll tell you what, you scared us a couple times on the back sheet. You got pushed out by the other side of that berm, and I thought, man, that was it. I thought you were done there. Yeah, I thought I missed the corner for the flat track. I think I ended up in the motor track over there. Yeah, it was, a little, it was a little cushiony. Kale Copeman, third place, Open Pro, Maine. Great job, man. And while Luke is talking, let's talk to his sponsor mechanic here, Kevin Kieran. Kevin, what's going on? You had a good day, man. Bike's doing good. Yeah, everything went well. We had a good setup on the bike. Everything, uh... Kirk's plan, like he just out there despite just a little bit this time, we'll keep working on it, getting it faster. There you go, that's Gavin Kieran, his sponsor, and uh, Reg. Andrew. <laughs> Kale gonna give me a heart attack out there, man. That was awesome stuff. Yeah, that was a pretty good race, and uh, a little bit of bumping and banging, but you know that's what uh, Revan's ace is about always here. So Kale did an awesome job. He was man, he was real hard to get around. Finally found the line. He was able to get him a little. I put my head down, trying to catch him. Mike, Mike was on rails. He goes good here, so you uh, good job, Mikey. And thanks for everybody for coming out. Uh, I hope you guys had a good time. Good job. All right. Now let's go to our winner. This guy, man. How many red flags did we have out there? It seemed like forever, man. How do, what does that do to your concentration, man? What point when you get the whole side, you're doing good, you're out front, all of a sudden, red flag, red flag. Uh, you just can't let it bother you. You just gotta keep your head down and uh, focus on what you started out in the beginning. Just focus on what you gotta do, basically. It's, it is tough. It's uh, easier said than done, I guess. But uh, there was a lot of red flags, but Man, I knew I was going to have to get to the bottom as quick as I could because I figured the track was brushing off quite a bit, but Andrew was making that high line work really well, and uh, I just couldn't do it, so I just figured out the safety what I figured I set the bike up for, so uh, it paid off, but he put some pressure on me. The young buck uh, had set for me first for tonight, but I I think he deserves this checker flag more than I do tonight because he, he put on a good show. So. All right, the Mutual Admiration Society. You guys ride two up. <laughs> and then this trophy girl of yours. Hi, honey. She's <laughs> your little one? Yeah. All right, she's, uh, she's good. I just want to thank all you fans for staying around, man. You guys keep coming out every year. It's an awesome program. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for cheering so loud. Let me hear you when we're going around the track. It's awesome. It's probably the best crowd. Uh, Best crowd of the season for me, even at all the AMT races, all the Grand National stuff, you guys put on a, a good show sitting out there making noise, so it's awesome. Keep coming out every year. You're saying pretty good too. Yeah. Hey folks, we're going to be doing the autographs with these guys over there at the uh, Carson Motorsports booth.